How's it, viewers of the Tubaverse? My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of the infamous Crypto, and of course, a cold one. Today's featured brewski is actually Ontology Brew, a new brew from the Ontology Company. Um, brewed with some of the finest hops out of Shanghai. Ooh, hoppy, baby. So let's get this going. Oh my God. Yeah, that's no good. The enterprise focus piece of the holy trinity, Ontology, has done some amazing things lately. Moving quicker than Jun Lee promised in our interview on the token tanks to release the much anticipated desktop O wallet. It was first released a couple of days back on August 10th with version 0.8.1. Well, a few upgrades and bugs have been fixed and the wallet is now in version 0.8.2. So today I would like to check out the desktop O wallet and break down for you the main features of the wallet, including ledger integration. To download the Ont desktop wallet, make sure to download from the Ontology GitHub found at github.com slash ontio slash o wallet slash releases download for your operating system and install once finished run the o wallet once opened and loaded click the blue enter button to begin the first thing you will be greeted with is to set your key store file path the file path stores where your encrypted keys are so make sure it's on a safe computer and make sure to have a backup of that file path on another safe device or even better a USB. Make sure you pick a file path and somewhere you will remember too so you don't lose those key store files. So now we have selected our wallet path and we're into the wallet let's go through the gray sidebar first. Clicking the yellow portion with the white ontology symbol will take you back to the enter screen. The wallet icon here takes you to your wallets. The question mark icon below takes you to an external frequently asked questions. Uh-oh, 404 error. Next version, we might need that fixed. Below the question mark is a gear icon, which takes you to the settings. Within the settings, you can change from the mainnet to the ONT testnet and change your language from the default English to Chinese. Hopefully there will be more languages soon. You can also change the path of where your key store files will be stored by clicking the blue change button. Let's now go back to the wallet selection screen. With this version of the O wallet, there are three types of wallet options, individual wallet, shared wallet, and ledger wallet. By default, you are on the individual wallet selection. So let's now make a new individual ontology wallet. Hover over the plus and then click create wallet to make a new wallet. You now need to name your wallet and set a unique password. Next, click the blue next button at the bottom left of the screen. You will then be prompted to save your key store for this wallet. Choose a save place, name it, and then save the file. You will then be taken to a screen where it breaks down your wallet details, the name, public address, public key, and the signature scheme. Once you have these details written down or saved accurately, Click the blue next button once more. Your wallet is now created. Click on your wallet to be directed into the wallet. At the top is your wallet's name and a back button which will take you back to the wallet selection screen. Below the wallet name is a wallet address. Below that is a balance of ontology and ont gas with a refresh button which if clicked will refresh the wallet's balances of assets. Below your balance is your claimable ONT gas and unbound ONT gas. And this updates in real time. Just look at the passive income flow in. To redeem your claimed ONT gas, click the yellow redeem button to the right of the claimable balance. So each time you redeem, you are charged 0.01 gas. Now enter your spending password and click the blue submit button. You just redeemed your aunt gas and it should reflect in your balance. If not, hit the refresh arrow. Let's now check out sending and receiving of ontology and its assets. To send, click the blue send button with the arrow pointing up. You will be required to pick the asset you want to send, the amount of the asset, and there's a slider to set a higher fee than the minimum 0.01 aunt gas for priority. 
And also, you need the address you're going to be sending to, of course. Once that is all entered to your liking, click the blue Next button to be taken to the confirmation screen. Confirm the details and click the blue Submit button to have the transaction on its way to confirmation. Back on your wallet's home screen, on the right hand side, is your completed transactions. Once a transaction is complete, it will show up here. You can actually click on the transaction hash to be taken to the transaction details through the ONT blockchain explorer. Here you can make sure the transaction went through and is confirmed. Status shows confirmed, so we are good to go. Click the back button to be taken to your wallet's homepage. You can also receive Ontology and its assets with your individual wallet. Click the blue Receive button with the down arrow, and this will pop up with your wallet's QR code, wallet address, and your public key. So, clicking on the side wallet icon once more, we are back at our individual wallet, and you can also import a wallet from somewhere like the O3 wallet. Let's hover over the plus symbol to the right of the first individual wallet, and then click on Import. As you can see, at the top you have the option to import from private key, .dat file, with, and mnemonic phrase. Similar steps, enter the details, create a password, and click the blue import button at the bottom and it should go through without a hinge. Going back, you can see on our first wallet, we also have the option to export the wallet. Clicking that will let you export it to a new location on your device or an external piece of equipment, like a USB. So there are two more types of wallets, shared and ledger. Let's talk about the shared wallet a bit. Select the shared wallet at the top and then hover over the plus sign. Click create wallet and you then have to enter a shared wallet name as well as the name and public keys of the co-payers or co-owners of the wallet. You need at least two co-payers and remember, you need the public keys, not their ontology wallet addresses or this won't work. Once that is entered, you can click the yellow plus add button to add up to 10 more copayers to this wallet. For this example, we will use three. Once you have everything entered, click the blue next button. You will have the option to change the number of signatures it takes to release the funds from this wallet. With a two person wallet, you need both. But with a three person wallet, you can have it just so two sign off and the release of the funds will happen but you can have all the way up to 12 and 12 people or eight and seven, any combinations of signatures from two to 12, if you have 12 people. Once that is set, click the blue next button once more and you will be taken to the wallet's home screen and you can see our shared wallet is now included. Let's click into our shared wallet. Very similar interface to our individual wallets, but at the bottom, you will have the co-payers of the wallet and a place uh, for pending transactions when waiting for a member of the wallet to sign and release. So sending transactions is much different with a shared wallet. So let's go through that really quick. Sending is similar to the individual wallet, but you can also set the confirmation sequence of the co-payer signatures. You would click the send button from within your shared wallet. Next, select the asset you are sending as well as the amount and also the receiver's wallet's address, not their public key. You are then prompted to select the sponsor of the shared wallet, and then you can adjust the order of the confirmations by the other co-payers for their respective signatures by dragging and dropping. A note, once the signature order is confirmed for the transaction, it cannot be altered. The next step is to confirm and to enter your spending password. So the sponsor of the shared wallet is the first person to confirm his or her signature, usually the one sending the transaction first, while the other signatures are signed by virtue of the prearranged order. Like mentioned before, once the transaction has been started, it is displayed as pending. It will only be completed and confirmed when it has been signed by the required number of co-payers. So now that we're done with shared wallets, let's go to Ledger Wallet. Click on the Ledger Wallet at the top, and let's now go through setting up this Ledger Wallet. So first you will need to get your Ledger, of course, and connect it to your computer. If you have not installed Ledger Live, install it now as it's the only way to get the Aunt app. You cannot get it through only the Ledger Manager. Once you have the Ledger Manager installed, open it and go to the Ledger Manager inside of the Live app from the menu. 
Scroll down to the Ontology app and click Install. You may need to wait a second and then a success screen will pop up. Go to your ledger, scroll over to the app Ontology, double click on both buttons to open the app and it is now open. Now your ledger is ready to be set up with the O wallet. Go back to your O wallet, select ledger wallet from the top selections and hover over the plus and click connect ledger. Should connect no problem and it will take you into it. The display is exactly like the individual wallet. The only difference with your ledger is when you send a transaction, there will be an extra step of confirming on the ledger with a double click. Now, I thought with this wallet, we were going to have the ledger token swap for people who had their NEP5 aunt on a ledger. This is not the case, and we are supposed to have a solution by the end of August. But from a Medium post from the Ontology team, it said that they are developing a way for you to import your mnemonic phrase to an O wallet individual wallet. Now, Ontology, come on, man. I am not giving a soul my ledger's mnemonic phrase. There has to be a better way. Can we not map the Neo public address where the first half of the aunt airdrop was stored? Mm, they need a better solution. And I really hope it comes quick because this wallet is slick. Cheers, viewers. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow.